I don't know why, but the Snickers creamer is like what I'm living for right now. Uh, before we continue Life is Strange 2, you do have to complete the Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit before Episode 2. So let's get into it. Oh, yes. What is this planet? I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool, let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on, let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Hey, Sean, how now are you? I just you? need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. I managed to get two white tiger pets. Mask or no mask? Secret or identity or not? Hmm. Are we doing a mask or a helmet, boys? What hmm. What are we giving to Captain Spirit? So this is actually a really cute series. Well, not series. It's like a one... It's like a one or two hour thing you have to play before you play chapter two of Life is Strange 2. Y'all want a helmet? All right, we're doing a helmet. Um, it's, this is about a kid and his overactive imagination. It's kind of cute. Congratulations on your tiger. Sean, I can't relate. I yep, just took a shower. Cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Are we having light armor or heavy armor, guys? Hmm. I've already played through this, so I'm letting you guys decide. You're always smelly. What about this armor? Is this armor smelly? 
light question mark. Smelly armor. <laughs> light armor, why not? Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, I always have to wear light Can armor. he be dark or colorful? Are we dark or colorful, boys? Yeah, in every game I'm in, I'm always like, Ah, I'm magic, or biotics, or, you know, something with superpowers. Um, so with that, I need light armor, because I am not strong. In fact, uh, when I was playing D&D, &D, I tried being a cleric for one, one, it was like a spin-off. Alright, Zach is saying colors. What about you, Sean? Um, but yeah, I was a cleric, and I was so surprised that my AC was 18. I was like, holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> colorful? Alright, we're doing colorful. Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. He Captain looks adorable. Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. All right, we have a lot to look at. Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. So I guess that's him versus, I think, Mantroid and all his cronies. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only Ooh. my team will know what it means. Oh, I thought we were getting a tattoo. I was really excited. Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Oh, God, he has so much stuff to look at. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons. But just in case. Okay, but when I was a kid, I was obsessed with tattoos, and I guess I still am when you think about it. So I'd always have, like, the fake tattoos, or I'd draw them on. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? Uh, we're going to take a minute to look around for a second before we have that ultimate battle. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now I have to locate the second part of the map. Henry. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. It'd be cool to shoot like that. Let's throw it. Let's do it. Airball. I should ask Dad to show me again. If I let my child self decide tattoos for myself, I'd have a Naruto headband permanently on my forehead. Hey, don't knock that. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Chris, breakfast. Uh, uh. Be right there. 
At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Dad said he was gonna fix that last month. <sighs> right? Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Well, I um, I would I also I take those them. away. What kind of a Viking would I be? All right. Here comes the shark stinger. Blech. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Chris, I need Hey, Spider help. Baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. That's mean. I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. I have like anxiety because the dad's like, oh. the dad's like, come on, right now. And I'm like, shit, dog, but I'm looking. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. Hold on. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. <sighs> okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Uh, R1. I know! Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. I can eat the poster? Jeez, <gasps> good job, chocolate hog. All right, well, we're gonna leave because if we play with the toys, the dad's gonna start like coming in and like screaming. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I don't. I fucking came! Go tell, buddy. I got things to do. I fucking came! Why you gotta be a dick about it? The silent breakfast is killing me. Some fucking hotel. The continental breakfast sucks. You're just gonna day drink? What'd you expect? A waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Promises, yeah. promises. Okay. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. No, they're not. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. Yo, fuck off. I, I don't drink that much. You're day drinking. Yes, you do. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? I don't go to Sorry. church. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, 
Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? So, um, I'm just mad that he has a small child and, like, I understand you recently wa lost your wife, but at the same time you have a small child, so y y you should be, like, in a good state of mind to take care of that child. And now with the hurt arm, it's just like, I'm ready to beat the shit out of this man. No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint, hint. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just wanna watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Fucking breaking it. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. And more. Not driving at all today to get the Christmas tree. Okay, you laying your uh your glass on there is giving me anxiety. <laughs> okay. What would Captain Spirit do? Let's wash the dishes. We're gonna mega clean. <gasps> Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? Yeah, I feel for this kid, too. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Pulverize. cannot be. Seriously? <sighs> like, we're just trying to- my awesome things to do. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I could cook something for Dad. Garage key, we're not taking that right now. Ooh, this could make a pretty good helmet. Um, this room right here. Is reminding me a lot, an awful lot of um, the washing room in Phasmophobia. Boring. Local police face more protests and shooting death. Oh, is that? Yep, Seattle. 
So that must have to do with the uh serious Shoot better than that guy and he's dead. That must have to do with the um what's going on in Life is Strange too. With the two brothers. That doesn't look like a sturdy helmet, sir. Done. There's my hot dog, man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best Dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo-choo. Oh, those are Dad's pages. To look at the letter, please. Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure uh, Chris is getting all the care that he needs at his fragile age. We've always been honest with you. Please do take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight. But the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help. So we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year or as long as you need and consider joining a support group. Ah, I need a pin code. Oh, what is fucking it? Fucking pin code? Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes! That was a goddamn carry! Bro, I'd like to see you do better. Fuck. Ugh. I hate that beer can smell. should help dad clean the house. Bro, I'm fucking try. Instead of playing... I can help dad do the laundry using my mind magic. I feel bad that this nine-year-old feels obligated to... clean now the house. Now you learn your lesson and stay clean. Dad doesn't want a set of Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think of mom. I hope I set this right. Well, that's a terrifying thought to have. Oh god, I hate going in there. Oh God! This, this kid's imagination. This kid's imagination is like Graham Clark. Uh oh. You have the power, Captain Spirit. You have the power. The water eater. Tame it. Ah! I'm 
taming the water eater. That's funny. Too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Hey, Dad, the water heater was That's down again, dominated. so I fixed it. it. And that is how you shoot the ball. So whenever um, I hear the word yes, all I can Let's think of is my night. friend Dosha Chai, Let's who had me see. watch one of her Korean dramas. And all I know is this one scene where this kid thinks he's home alone, so he just comes out and he's listening to music and he's like, Okie dokie, yo, is this true? Yes! God damn, you're on fire! Better drink that magic milk. Are we drinking the milk? We're drinking the milk. We're a kid. We're drinking milk straight from the carton. Mm -mm, I feel the power. Now we're gonna cook some mac and cheese. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Where the fuck is the phone? Why is it ringing? Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just Dad, wants it's you Jesus. And your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris. Who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Dad, Jesus called. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. I kind of want to look at the fridge again. There's something else in there. Ugh. Power trash. <laughs> Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space. No! You stole a ball from that piece of shit! You suck! Well, I guess it's still counting down. So I guess we have some time. Oh, there we go. Was that an actual, like, IRL minute? Oh yeah, his dad didn't eat, did he? Snack time! Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever.
I hope you enjoyed your turkey sandwich. We're doing chores for his father. Really? The house is gonna get cold if that's your only heat source, buddy. Goodbye, log. Burn! Never burn. Burn! Alright, we don't want to go in front of the dad. Oh yeah! Yeah, look at the scoreboard, motherfuckers! Alright! Hmm, I don't think dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Nope, totally not gonna speak to the dad. Dad never smiles like that anymore. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Dad was so popular. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Oh, please don't yell, please don't yell, please don't yell. Take car keys. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swear I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. What's with life is strange and wanting to put keys in bowls? Why are we sitting? Oh, there was something I wanted to look at over here. Oh, you have in your hand. Let's sit and be cool for a second. Never mind. See, I have little umbrellas to put keys on. Oh no, 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 no. He will kill us. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Sorry, Pop. It's war. Hmm. Let's check this out. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. You had one what when you were a kid, Zach? I'm sorry. Hot water. Yes, I won. Oh, a bowl. Okay. We're gonna interview. Welcome to W H E R O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Would you say your sandwich is lost Captain in the sauce? Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? Oh, shit. Will we forgive them, or are we going to crush Mantroid? See, I, I know the mind of being a kid in a bad situation, so uh, shooting uh, the dad with a nerf gun, not, not a good idea. 
We're gonna forgive? Okay. We will forgive them if they don't join Mantroid. He's not worth it. We have to live in peace. Or you will destroy them. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? So who is this kid's superheroes? His parents or himself? Zach, I just saw that you redeemed Drinky's waters. I'm so sorry. Oh, I just looked out the window and it's snowing. He's trying, but, um... He is trying. I will give him that with his language that he's using. It's just... I feel bad for the kid in the sense where the dad is day drinking and won't have a clear mind to take care of the child and the child has a bruise mark on his arm because of the father my parents are my biggest heroes i bet they're happy to hear that can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers no Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. <laughs> I wonder when I can start to shave. Kid, you're probably like shave. nine. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Never. No diving today, Nemo. It's actually starting to come down where I am. Like, it's not super heavy to the point where, like, no one can drive. I'm pretty sure plows are out salting the, the streets and whatnot. But it's it, it's a good flurry. I, I feel like flurry's too light to describe it. Though I did have a dream. It was snowing. So maybe I'm having a vision. I was having vision. You probably could have been. I had a weird ass dream last night. Like, I forget what was going on, but I just remember running and hiding a lot. Because, um, I don't know. It, it almost felt like I was playing the new Resident Evil because there was this big titty vampire lady who was hunting me and trying to kill me. Yes. I know we want to play. But, hey, what's down there? I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. So, what do we need? Slippers. 
a superhero should wear those, but they're so comfy. Let me see. I don't think we can enter Dad's room. What you doing there, buddy? Can I steal your iPad? Yes. Dad loves his dad notebooks. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Uh, I didn't have a dream worth remembering. I barely got sleep at all. Oh, well, I hope you sleep better tonight, Zach. Hey, Shinichi, how are you? Woke up at 4 a.m. Yikes. Oh, Ryan. Ryan, don't be a dick. You know, Sean, that kind of makes me nervous in the sense where, like, I always have vivid dreams. So, like, if I had vivid dreams on... Are you kidding me, ref? Melatonin. It would be, like, that I times two. Carried it. They dropped this guy and not me. I could run circles around that guy. Are you sure about that, buddy? Let me take the garage keys. Fine. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Responsible young man putting on his jacket. That's gonna be me today. Extra bonus points and luck. Does it save the footprints? Oh yeah, it does. Cool. You can watch how I can't walk in a straight fucking line. Probably a fucking squirrel. Combination lock. We're good. This is where mom went to school before we came here. Really? As principal of Blackwell Academy, I wanted to personally reach out to you and thank you for your con 
continued support of our art program to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with the long list of other alumni. alumni. We all have fond memories of you here. So thank you for thinking of us as we hope you'll come visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. Principal Ray Wells. Wells. I was doing good, guys. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. The jock and the artist. Ooh, I can even paint my costume once I make it. Yeah, see, I don't know. I can't go anywhere without the keys. Okay, but you're like nine years old. You shouldn't be driving. <laughs> Let's see, is there an email to get? No way. Well... think if there's anything else we really need to do. Oh, Snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? <laughs> Y'all, I didn't get my license until I was 19. Mostly through, like, arguments and complications. 18 or 19. I mean, maybe you can safely schedule a driving lesson if that is the idea. At least in a world where, like, There's Uber and things like that, no, and as no long as things are nearby, you really don't need to learn how to drive. Because cars, in all honesty, are very expensive. Ugh, I'm having a, a whole issue with the registration. Sean knows about it. I'm just, I'm so angry. Dad won't fix the swing because it's too dangerous to fix. It's just the whole thing, trust me, Shinichi.
That's an Octarius' son. He looks like his dad. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. There's my loyal guard, Sky Pirate. Sky Pirate, long time no see. Is everything okay up here? Aye, aye, Captain. The sky is clear for now. It's good to know you're on the lookout. Keep it up. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. <laughs> Open sesame. <gasps> Maybe I can use this to read the map. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. <laughs> School letter. Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. Dear Mr. Erickson, I wanted to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry Sorber and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of... I fucking hate women like this. Or just parents in general like this, like... Oh, this is Mr. Brett. Oh. I fucking hate parents! Like, no accountability for your child at all. My child is perfect. Yours must be the problem. That's how they be! If this bullying continues, I will be forced to speak to school. Are you fucking kidding me? I fucking hate parents. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. What are you cooking, my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish. Pizza! Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. That's an Octarius' son. Oh, I thought that's a note he looks card. Like his dad. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after Dad used it for an ashtray. Gross. I fucking love this song. Forgot to put this on my Spotify. I'm adding it now. I'm totally gonna have to like take this off of this on YouTube for copyright purposes. Cause that's all Life is Strange does is copyright. This song is called Death with Dignity. And I'm putting it on my Spotify list. What do you mean they're getting the copyright sniper ready? Oh. Oh, I get it. 
Macbeth with dignity. Captain Spirit is here! I just liked it on Spotify so it'll show up. Yeah, no, with Life is Strange 1 I had three copyright strikes against me and I was like, come on! Alright, let's go down. I have an in interesting array of things on my Spotify. Like, I go from like screaming metal to just regular heavy metal to indie um, I have a lot of grunge and punk on there what is that noise? oh that's TV And he's asleep. Well, while he's sleeping, let's go in the dad's room. I'm glad dad kept mom's perfume. Smells just like her. What's that? Yes! Free heat to who knows what. I hope I get to go practice with dad again this summer. I'm too old to be measured now, right? Careful of booby traps. Letters, let's read them. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what happened uh, about what I said the other night. I was just pissed. You don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful and I know it stresses you out. So that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm waiting to meet your son and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong but you do say things that hurt my feelings i care for you in so many ways and i just had to express myself so you understand i think about you and me together so i hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart your tiny dancer audra well wow I had fans when he was playing in high school. I am 12 and want to be a pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your, your games. Oh, that's cute. That's scary. You're not alone. We can help. Contact overcoming alcoholism. Discount rates available. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Yikes. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Hey, what's that? Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way!
Dad doesn't play mom's records as much as before. Take a break for a bit. Okay, Sean, have fun. Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. I know yes. he did. This will totally protect me from Mantroid. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Dad was so angry at the police. Since you've not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof I have been more diligent about this case than you are the police department if your duty is to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. Huh. I remember Di yelling on the phone a lot. Although I appreciate what you've gone through the past few years, I'm afraid I've exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss the matter without another angry message... I am always available to talk. In respect to your case, I am only invoicing you for one month's work. Jeez. Yikes. Dad wrote a lot of letters. We regret to inform you that street surveillance data is now available for Asteroid Drive in Mantle Street, nor the general public, unless accompanied by official state or federal investigation. So we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope the local Oregon law enforcement will assist you further. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code.
You gotta love a kid's yes, imagination. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. You know, I was thinking today, I'm pretty thankful that most of the snow is melted. And then it starts snowing. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Hmm, I have to place it right. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. There we go. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Cool. Uh, cool. Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader! And he wants you to die! <laughs> Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! This is. It is Life is Strange, too. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh, good guy? I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Nocturus on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit! Oh. Are we gonna release him or are we gonna destroy him, boys? So, it just came to mind, because I know that we're gonna destroy him. It just came to mind that, um... I know Mrs. Scyther said it was at 7, but then I just remembered she's in another country. So ghosts are now? Possibly? Hello, Power Bear. I'm here to finally destroy Noctarius. You never fail us, Captain Spirit. No, you can't do that to me. I'm just a puppet. Then let's cut your strings. Okay, I'm so sorry. I totally thought we were playing seven at night. Good job, but we still have to deal with Mantroid. With Captain Spirit in charge, our team is going to win every battle. Uh, 
Uh, do we need weapons? No. Favorite book. I've read this one so many times. I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. All right, let me... Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way. Intervene! That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us! You'll never run over anybody again. Alright. Try to think. Where the fuck is Mantroid's base again? Shit. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! Dad loves his stat notebooks. Is that whiskey empty? Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Yikes. Okay. We have to try and find Mantroid's base. And then... I don't know, man. I don't think man tried us that way. Maybe we have to go back outside? It is outside? Okay. Oh, you remember this? You think so? You should totally stream some Life is Strange. You think it's in front of the house? Oh, oh, oh. Enter the junk pile. See, when I wor first went through this, I um, didn't end up painting his stuff because I got yelled at. Oh, are we going left or right? Let's go left. I feel left. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff I didn't end up doing. Oh, uh, let's go right. Let's go right again. Let's get left. Yeah, we'll have to get it later. Um, I'm trying to finish this so that way I can play Phasmo. Once I'm done with that, we can. Better look at that map again. Shit.
The water eater is gone. Could play a mustard part two, but I need to unlock that phone. Fuck. Going left or right. Let's go left. Then we're going to go right. Then left. And left. This is sad. <laughs> smile. Ain't that sweetie. Alright, well he has a to-do list, so let's... Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. That's a lot of fucking beer. Loser. Hmm. Uh, yes. Uh. Shit. These cans must be protected by a force field. Fuck. I 
life, Miss Loser. <laughs> yes. Got it. Pow, boom, blam. Recycle that. Like the snow mantle wants to destroy our town. I can only I can stop him this time. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad. I know. So, I know we have to defeat Snowmancer. What kind of code? Hey, Thanks we found the firecrackers. Explosives, Chief. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Local woman killed and hit and run. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Mm. <sighs> Looks like they he wrote them like a letter to be like, hey, sorry about everything that happened. It's her birthday. So I think with these firecrackers, we'll take out Snowmancer. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. Ah, you feel it now, huh? Yes! So cool! Snowmancer almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. For now. Let me try in here again.
Who the fuck has a long ass code system. like that? So cool. Here's my hot dog man. Oh fuck, it's Flappy Bird. I know I need to get the mustard. Need more points. Oh, Shit. How many points do I fucking need? I need to beat the high score. 256. Alright. I have a feeling I won't- this is a mission I won't be completing. Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. Oh, that worked. Power Drive. Here I come, Mantroid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Skate pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meter shower. Turn on the force field. Too late. Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! I love this kid's imagination. The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder Man Troy lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. Oh, that's gonna be the fucking demon whispering in my ear soon. What's that sound? Something oh, is coming. Faster, kid. Or somebody. Oh, damn. Come to my planet. Man, 
Metroid, show yourself, you coward! kind of relate to this kid in the sense where like fight me instead of hiding I had a little superhero thing with like my two friends Making me anxious that he's in the middle of the street. That's where he got the name, Man Troid. Kid, you're laying in the middle of the fucking street, and that's making me anxious. for what you did, Mantroid. I swear. If it is, that's really sad, Dosha. Alright, so we did all of the things. I guess it's time to wake Dad up. No, I don't want to do that! Leaving. I remember the nosy neighbor was talking to me too. Last time I played. Hey you. Dad, you you sleeping? God. Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh... Dad! Uh... Uh... Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? Because you, you told, told me, me to. You told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said... the pine tree? Pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're... you know... When you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. He's not being a smart ass, though. Jesus Christ, who is that? <sighs> Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on him. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh, 
Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm, I'm a Captain superhero Spirit. lady. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just... Just... Just? Just... Hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. Did like you not see him five minutes to. ago? Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Totally. Me and my dad were just decorating the tree, and I tripped over the lights, and the tree almost crashed on me. But Dad caught it, and he fell, so... So... Gee, that's some story. Is everybody all right? Um, yeah. Must have been quite a scare. I hope you have something else planned for today. I wanted to fix up the treehouse. Maybe Steven could come by and help? Well, that sounds like a fun job for a father and son, right? Oh, my dad wants to, but he's super busy today. Too busy on a Saturday to help you with the treehouse? Yeah, he's tired from work and stuff. Plus, he's got to support his team. Maybe he should support his son instead. There's always another game, right? Okay, Chris. I think I've heard enough. I'm going to talk to Steven about this, and we'll be back to chat with your father. Wait. You don't... Please. Listen, I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? We want to help. You're not in trouble. You haven't done anything. Just stay put, and we'll come by in a little bit. Oh, the dad overheard all that. I'm scared. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I'm just, nine years old. Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me, you talk. Stop it. <laughs>
things. Meet Chris again in Life is Strange 2. Alright, I'm going to turn this off, get set up really, really quickly, so that way I can play Phasmophobia, and I'll see you all later.